Good afternoon. It is 11.57 and I'm having a terrible day. It started off pretty good actually. The cat did not bother me and let me sleep in until like 7.30 so that big bonus right there. But staying up way too late past my bedtime made me exhausted and I did not want to run. So I kept putting it off for like probably an hour or so. I get dressed, I go to walk outside, it's freezing, I can see my breath. I begrudgingly went to the gym. At least it was like 9 in the morning at that point, so there was something to watch on TV because Sundays, earlier than that, nothing but infomercials and your mind just melts. But I was just not feeling it, I was winded, I had to drop the treadmill at like 6 miles an hour for like half the run, which I never do. I don't remember the last time I did that. That was just... <clears throat> It was disheartening to say the least. On top of that, my right calf was all cramped up from standing in like the same spot on a concrete slanted floor last night for a couple hours, so that felt great. But we got through it, we came home. And then this yard here, you see behind me? Yeah, it hadn't been cut because it rained all last weekend. And now, now it looks nice outside. So, I'm gonna cut the grass. I'm already sweaty from the gym perfect shape to cut the grass. Lawnmower starts to die on me. So now my buddy JT has to fix my lawnmower. Stalled out a few times. Managed to kind of get it cut. It's sloppy, but it's done and it looks way better than it did. Enter the next bad thing that happened to me. I pushed the lawnmower to right about this spot here and Oliver, excited, came running over, plopped down next to the lawnmower. Wanted me to rub his belly. I go to sit down and I wasn't being aware of my surroundings, I touched the uh, exhaust on the lawnmower, and uh, yeah, you, it, it's not terribly gross, but there is a massive blister, pretty much the whole size of this band-aid, on my finger right now, and my entire finger hurts. <sighs> that sucked. It was like instant too. I, I feel like my hand was there for less than a second, and it's burned. It blistered up right away, so hopefully that means it'll fill with fluid. I can pop that and drain it and dry it out and be done with it in a week or less. So needless to say, I'm not in the greatest of moods right now. But it could have been worse. The last time I burned my hand it was actually this pinky and it was like all through the joints. That was like rope burn, well it was leash burn. We were at the lake on two fourth of July's ago or so and Oliver tried to run and I just had the leash sitting there because we were, all of us were just chilling in the grass in the shade, just hanging out, drinking some beers, relaxing, talking, and I grabbed the leash and it just ripped through my hands. That took forever to heal. I mean, like, the skin was pretty much all healed up after about a month, but it, it like hurt and felt weird for like probably three to four months, probably because it was in that joint and it just took forever. So that could have been worse. This, not in the joint, Bonus is JT is coming over Thursday to try to fix both my mower and my parents' second mower. So hopefully by the time I gotta cut my grass next weekend, lawnmower works again. So last night I put all of the video I shot yesterday on the timeline. Just wanted to get it set up so on lunch today I can bang out an edit real quick. And you know what? I didn't like any of it. I mean, this little clip was kind of funny. Hey, that's a cooler? It's insulated cooler bed. But really, other than that, I was just filming to film. I, uh, I was not in a good mood yesterday because I burned my finger. Uh, let's see if we can... It looks so much better today. Yesterday, the whole tip was all swollen. And actually, today, it really doesn't hurt at all. It just feels really weird. And it, it almost feels like when you're a kid, did you ever put Elmer's glue on your hand, let it dry, and then like peel it off because that felt cool and it looked cool? That's kind of what it feels like. I feel like I have Elmer's glue on my skin, except I could feel the fluid squishing around underneath. I know that sounds a little gross, but it's, uh, it's definitely an interesting feeling. But yesterday, the whole tip was all swollen and literally the whole finger hurt pretty much all day, and I was exhausted. So I. Needless to say, I had no motivation. I was not in the mood to do anything. So I just kind of, after a while, I even just stopped filming. It was just, it wasn't a fun day. It was Mother's Day, so we did go see my mother. We went to see my mother-in-law. 
So that was that was fun. But I wasn't gonna film us giving them their Mother's Day cards and their you know, that's that's a little bit of a personal moment, so I kept that to ourselves, but other than that, I mean, we went to the mall. Uh, Amy got a nice rain jacket for our trip to London, and I wanted to get a new one too. So we went to the mall to go to a store called Boscov's, and I was really hoping to find like a travel windbreaker that has like all the tech pockets so I can literally put everything in the jacket, take that off, throw that through the security tray so I'm not pulling stuff out of my pockets and everything. They had nothing. But if you've ever watched uh, Dan Bell, he does this series called The Dead Mall, and I think he may have actually been to the mall at Steamtown at one point. So I briefly talked about that, but I was more just rambling. I, I'll, here's a few clips of the, of the mall at Steamtown, or as it's now called, the Steamtown Marketplace. Yeah, it's pretty dead now. Like, the one side of the mall with Boscov's pretty much still has a bunch of stores, but the other end of the mall, that's pretty much completely dead. There used to be a Bonton there. That was the anchor store, and that went out of business years ago. And I think they did a Scranton Marketplace in there once or twice, but now Luzerne County Community College uh, put a satellite campus in the top level of what was uh, the Bonton. And... There's upstairs, there's also like a, I think it's like a Jimboree or something. It's like a kid's playland that apparently does really well. But that's really like from more than half of the mall down, that's that's pretty much all that's there. There's like a wake place and like a GNC. But like that mall is dead. Starbucks and Boscov's are the only two stores in there that probably make any money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But I was just, I was not in the good mood. I had no motivation and, you know, a lot had to do with my finger and I was tired. But uh, I don't want to make excuses. Um, I'm sorry that the content was just bad. I need to find more motivation. I've definitely been slacking a lot lately. And to be honest, I think I'm getting seasonal depression because I just really, really, really want it to be nice and warm and sunny. I don't even need the sun all the time. Just, just some nice hot weather. I really want it to be hot. I love the hot. I'm sick of the cold weather, period. I'm sick of winter, period, cold weather. And it's it's really starting to get me down. So I need I need the weather to change. But I'm I'm gonna gotta direct my my positive vibes, if you will, and, and get motivated. So uh, I do apologize for this being a lackluster vlog, to put it politely for myself, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna make that change. And I haven't been flying the drone a lot because I haven't really gone anywhere and I don't wanna keep stitching in the same shots of the drone. I did actually have it charged and ready to go yesterday, but it was pouring rain when we left the house. Then of course, an hour later when I was would have flown it perfectly sunny and uh, no rain, but I didn't have the drone. So I do apologize. It's gonna get better. I got some plans coming up. Something should be arriving that I'm really excited for. I should be getting something in the mail tomorrow. So really, really excited for that. And also the London trip is coming up. It's rapidly approaching. So hopefully I also get another toy before I go to London. So hopefully there's, there's two videos that I'm really stoked to make. Fingers crossed there's two really good unboxings coming. If the deal today goes through, the second unboxing might be a reality fairly soon. So stay tuned. I promise to improve. I promise to get motivated. It's going to be 90 degrees on Thursday, so 
I'm pretty stoked about that. Just thinking that it's gonna be like 90 degrees and it's gonna be like 88 degrees on Wednesday. It's cold today, but on Wednesday and Thursday, it's gonna be really warm. Just thinking about that is getting me excited. So it's gonna take a turn for the better. So stay tuned. And with that, I will see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for your next video. Good night.